Hey, what's going on? If you're watching this, then you probably got the hack and slash pack v2, or you're thinking about it. And basically, what this the purpose of this video is just to kind of show you around and um, give you a guided tour of what we can do here. Um, so let's start. I'm gonna keep the play. And um, all right, so some of the things that this does, it, it basically it gives you the ability to just start making your game versus having to do the entire groundwork and then get started. So here's um, some of the features. So okay, so I wanted to like um, I I I like how that lean looks when you're turning. Um. You know, typically you would have to use an additive for that, or you know, you gotta mess with the root um, in order to get that twist. I didn't mess with the root. I did a bone transform somewhere in the um, in the anim blueprint, so that you know, depending on how fast you're going, the character twists their back whenever you turn. Um, that's one thing. Um, alright, so I had double jumping. If you look on the numbers on the left, those numbers on the left are telling you at what speed you're going to when you land. Um, that you can turn on and off. Um, that is, I'll show you where those settings are shortly. Um, also, we have basically a framework for your character. So, what can we do? We can. Um, strafe. We can also block standing up, or if we have our weapons out, we can also strafe from the ground. Um, like I said, we can block, we can put our weapons away. Um, we have hand to hand yeah. combat. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. these animations are obviously, yeah. you know, Paragon animations, yeah. so they're not the best, but they're only there to show you how it works. So yeah. please don't take that as a proof of my incompetence. Um, we have jump, double jump, um, run, slide. We have dash. Yeah. Yeah. Dash forward, dash back. Uh, say you got your weapons out. There's two ways to get your weapons out. One way is um, using the weapon equip on equip button. Another way is to use the upper the upper attack button. The character will do a, a move and pull it out, and then you just press down on the d-pad or tab and put your weapons away if you want them away um, um, yeah we have slide also while your weapons are out you also have the ability to you know um, flip back and forth left and right um, also we have the ability to interact with certain objects in the map um, for instance I did these little interactions just to kind of show you how to set them up um, you know they're nothing spectacular they're just there to just kind of show how it works um, the AI um, you know they'll typically chase you when you get within their vicinity so you know understand that um, <laughs> You know, these are dumb AI, so don't expect anything spectacular. They're just meant as to be trash mobs just to kind of like play around and understand how your attacks work. Um, um, also, say for instance, your double jump can't get you high enough to somewhere. Um, I've added the option to do what is called like a, like a jump climb. So, um, right now, the animation that I'm using is kind of fast, so you don't really see it. But it's going into a it's climbing animation, and it's jumping up. 
um, you know, because the double jump wouldn't reach it. So what it does is that it, it, it like, bounces off the wall and then jumps up. Um, <coughs> if you've ever played something like uh, Darksiders 3, then you'll, you know, that's, that's, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But, um, you have that. Also, <coughs> we have the ability to take damage if we jump too high. So, huh? Uh, huh? So, for instance, if you're high above, when you jump down, it'll play your landing animation and it'll take some sort of damage. Um, you know, you have your combo system. Um, you have two setups. Um, the, when you're, the weapon, the equip setup is meant to, to chain with itself. So you can start out your chain on one side and then end it on the other one. Um, it's got directional input. So like, even though you're using root animations, the direction will always be the direction in which you're controlling. So if you want to attack towards the left, you attack towards the left. If you want your next step to go right. You press right, and so on and so forth. The only time that won't work that way is when you're around enemies. Because when you're around enemies, it automatically goes towards the closest enemy towards you. So, in this case, for instance, let me just knock this guy off real quick. Alright, so if I'm, I'm, I'm facing back, as soon as I hit attack, it, it'll phase the enemy. See? Uh, well, right now, I'm just hitting, I'm hitting guard. But um, if I were to attack, it would, it would look for him and, you know, attack him. Now, those settings are inside the montages. Um, you just open up any attack montage and you'll see the settings there. I'll make another video explaining how those work. Um... Yeah, this current setup, I don't even think I got those set up. Um, if you look, um, also we have the ability to do, um, like AoE attacks. Right here, this attack, right here, that was actually an AoE attack. That one. That attack will attack everybody in a circle around you. Um... You can't tell right now because I have terrible animations. I'm just trying to make do with what I got, you know? But, um, that's another thing that you can do. And, um, oh yeah, the interactables. Um, like I was saying, there's little things that you can interact. Um, like, you know, you see me light up the lamp and then like the switch right here. Um, I've, I've made the blueprint for you, so if you need to put doors inside your map to kind of interact with throughout your, you know, your creation for your own game, you can do that. Um, I've also added an interactable for chess. Um, now, understand that I don't have any logic set up to go with uh -huh. this, right? So, you know, like, that was just, you know, it, 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 it's just showing you... Um, the interaction between the character and the object. Um, so if you wanted it to give you something, then that logic you're going to have to fill in yourself. I didn't do that because I don't know what you're doing with your game. I don't know what um, type of system you're going to do. So I didn't want to intrude on anybody. I didn't want to like force anybody to have to rip out a bunch of stuff to add their own inventory system or whatever. Um, I wanted you to be able to just you know kind of do things on your own. Um, if you if you look just then, I wasn't facing the enemy. I just pressed the button and it just automatically went towards him. Um, and you know that's basically an overview of what you can do. Um, you know, certain obstacles that you can't climb under, you can just dash. Um, you can slide under. Um, you know, you got your dashes. You know, you got your 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 jump aways and you know your double jump your slide 
Um, you, know, you have both your attack sets. You have the ability to put away your weapons and just go hand in hand. Um, now, the reason why I did that, I wanted you to be to see how you would set up multiple weapons. I did not set up multiple weapons for a reason. Um, main reason being because, you know, if, for instance, say you have an uh, inventory system that, that's already set up, right? So what you would do is you would throw that inventory system on my, on my, on my kit. And um, if I already had something set up, then they would, they would collide with each other. So what I did was I gave you the option to, to, to switch. And then if you look at how the the hand to hand is set up versus the um the, the sword setup, then you can see what you need to do in order to make it work. And the only thing you really have to do would be add like an enum that'll tell the character, hey, this is what you're equipped with, and then that's what, you know, you'd go from there. I'm pretty sure that if you bought this, you have some sort of an idea what I'm talking about. If you don't, just come on my Discord and ask. I'll be more than glad to help. Um, like I said, I'm going to be making other videos showing you how to change things. The next video I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to show you how to replace the character, how to change the weapons, and what else? How to prepare your own assets for this. So, you know, I'll do that. I'll do that on my next video. This video is just an introductory video to show you kind of like what, what you can expect from this pack. Um, you know, just download the demo, play it, play it, play with it for a little bit, try to break it. Um, let me know if you do break it so that I have an idea of what I need to fix, if anything. And, um, that's basically it. You, um, you know, you have your block. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, also there is kind of like a, like if I would have died, there's like a, a respawning set, set, um, set up. So, like, as soon as you die, it'll respawn, reset the level, you're back in the game. Um, you know, that's just something that you can definitely build on. It's it's up to you what you do with that. Um, I just kind of wanted to give you all the bare bones necessary for you to just, you know, like like now when you come into this, you're not, you don't have to build everything from scratch. You just look at the code like, oh, okay, so this does this, and that does that, and then you just throw in your own assets and then figure out what you want to add or, or not add or, you know, everything you can, you can... Because everything works so 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 well independently, you can delete or keep whatever you want, and that's kind of like what I wanted to do when I created this. I wanted to make it easy for you to use, but you know, I wanted to take away all of the unnecessary crap. So like, you could just go in, work with what you got, put in what you want, and you know, not have a whole bunch of extra code that now you have to fight with. Um, so yeah, anything that you need help with, just Get on my Discord. Just hit me up. Um, if I have time, I'll do it right in immediately. If I don't, I'll, I'll set up a time to work with you individually. Um, I have no no qualms about helping anybody. Like I said, just you know, go on my Discord and just just be nice. Just don't be you know, just don't be a jerk. And I'd be more than glad to help anybody. That's that's what I'm here for. Um, and you know, just you know, if if you're not sure if this is really what you need, um, just go and download the demo. Try it out. You know, run around the map a couple of times, kill a couple spiders, and see if that's what you want to do. If, you know, like I said, these are trash mobs. Um, I do intend on working on the AI in the future. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, create better versions of the AI. This is just trash mobs right now, just for testing purposes, because, you know, this is mainly a, a, a combat, you know, for, like, I made this mainly for the first person combat setup you know that way um, I've, I've noticed that there's a bunch of combat setups but most of them are set up like like for souls like games and I didn't really you know I I, I, I wanted an action game not a I wanted an action hack and slash game I did not want a souls like um, there's too many of those and I didn't want to compete with those guys those guys do wonderful work um, and you know, I, I admire their the work that they put in, but the problem that I have with their work is that because um, they put in so much, every time I want to create something, I have to gut most of the stuff that they already got set up in order to start my stuff. And that's why I created this. It's just something simple 
that you can just start throwing your own assets on and it'll all work you know the way that it's intended I'm gonna definitely do videos coming up um, showing different integrations I intend to integrate this with the character skills I'm gonna integrate this with a couple of the inventory systems I'm going to integrate this with um, wall running. I'm going to integrate this with um, the climbing system. I'm going to integrate this with a whole bunch of different things just to show you guys how easy it is to do it and, you know, how, how convenient it is because, you know, that's that's what it is. It's it's all about convenience. So, you know, hopefully you guys like this. Um, you know, let me know. Um, get on my Discord. Let me know if, if there's, you know, features that are universal that, you know, maybe I should work on. I do have a list um, that I'm working on of, of things that I'm going to add. Um, I'm hoping that by V4, um, most of those systems will be in. Um, you know, I just, I just put this out maybe last week, and this is already on V2. So you, I just want you guys to understand that, you know, they, they're... You know, I'm constantly going to continue to update this. This isn't a one and done thing. I'm not just going to abandon this. Um, so, you know, don't worry about it. If you if you if you buy it, don't worry about like having like a like a uh content cemetery. You know what I mean? This is definitely not going to end up in your content cemetery if you if you intend on um use it in the future. So, you know, you guys just have a great day. It's 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 been great. Um and you know, enjoy. I hope I hope you guys like it. Um take care and goodbye.